Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to part 68 of Let's Play Albert Odyssey. I've got Pike and Amon a level off screen, and I've learned that the W hook has a ridiculously high critical rate. I've used it four times in a row and gotten critical hits on all of them. We'll see if that trend continues. If it is, we're going to have Aka do a lot more melee attacks just in the hope that she can critical. But I was also one of those guys who, when I played Chrono Trigger, I used the rainbow on Chrono for the four times critical rate than the Shiva Edge that did, like, twice the damage with you. I know I've not gotten a chance to play around. I do own the, the remake for the DS that has the new items, so I've not gotten a chance to play around with all of the items. Or do the fun battle at the end. Uh, if there was some way that I could easily do a Let's Play of that version, I would in a heartbeat. So far, the only version that I will probably be able to LP of that would be the PlayStation version, which as much fun as I would love doing it, the load times for that are unbearable. It is so ungodly slow. Anyway, enough of that game. Back to Albert Odyssey! There are a couple of spells that I need to learn for a lot of the characters. I'm nowhere near finished with everyone's spell list. Critical hit, five in a row. And healing breath. Um, everyone's fine for now. I'll show you Thunder Breath because I haven't shown it to you yet. That's actually kind of a cool attack. I, I really like that attack. It's a shame it only does 155 damage. But yeah, there's about three spells. And Aka learned Resurrect, which is good. We'll need that for a little later on. There's about three spells on Pike that I think I still need to learn. One of them does not matter what level I am. I have to be taught it. And I don't want to give any of the spoilers away for that. Kia gets... Uh, I know what her last spell is. I don't remember which one, how many there are between what she's got now and her last spell. I think four. I'm barely sure four. Grizz has two more breath attacks to learn. And I really have no idea how many more spells Aka has. Critical hit with Pike. I keep wanting to call him Par. And for those of you who have seen Record of Lotus War, does he not have kind of a strange resemblance to Par? I mean, not like physically, but just you just Pike Par, same character model. It just it gets stuck in my head. And that broke my critical streak. I should have used healing breath. Should have used healing breath. Anyway. Lotus War. If you guys get a chance, watch it. Great anime. Great fantasy uh, setting anime. Uh, either version. There's the uh, OVA and then there's uh, Chronicles of the Heroic Knight. Either one. They're, they're both great. I started with the OVA. That was the first one I ever saw. That's all that was on that level, too. That sucked. Oh, crap-tastic. I am in no way ready for a boss fight. No way ready for a boss fight. I should have known. You'd think there would have been a safe point. But there's not. So I'm gonna get raped. Hardcore. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll start this fight off in this video. School. Critical hit off the bat from Eamon only doing 318. Oh, yeah. 485, god that hurt. I need to keep ah. Pike and Aka alive because they both have Resurrect. Cover, do you? No, you don't. So I've only got two people who can heal. 
I miss having Laos. I really do. Laos made things so much easier having three people who could cure. Need to keep her alive. Okay, I'm so not fit for a boss battle right now. But on the upside, that means this section of the game will be done quickly. Alright, Grizz, go get him. Cool. In all reality, he's not too much tougher than he was when we fought him at the fort. They just compensate that he does more damage and has more HP. But hes it, it's the same strategy, you just have to be careful to outlive him. Which, I mean, I guess that could be said for any role-playing game like this, but you, you know what I'm trying to say. We fought him as a one-on-one -on -one battle. We had a magic sword helping us. Now it's a five-on-one, -on -one, so they kind of adjust the numbers. But to my knowledge, he does not pull out any sort of... You know, massive... Area of effect special attack or anything along those lines. He just he might be able to get a multi attack like that one he used in in the cutscene fight. But I I'm not 100 percent sure on that one. In the meantime, we're just gonna lay into him. Like there's no tomorrow. He's going to try to kill Eamon. Um, we really need Grizz to go a little bit faster. Because Grizz is going to have to start healing a little bit more. actually helped out considerably. Okay, yeah, he does get Grand Swing. Okay, Grand Swing is an AoE. That sucks. But, he cast Quickster on Grizz, so it's not as damaging as it could be. We can try it. And at this point, might as well. Increase Pike's attack. No, this is increasing his strength. That's fine. You you can do that to Grizz all you want. Why? Because he recovers like 80% of his HP with this attack. So you can fight. And a little bit more damage from Pike. Alright, I'll go ahead and cut it here, and I will see you all in our next installment. Later, everyone.